Hello everybody, it's Mr. Storm again, and I'm going to show you how to create new assignments in your brand new Canvas course. We have this digital media course that I started to build, um, and I have my front page content here. Uh, it's ready to go, and it looks fancy pants, but I've got nothing to teach. So I want to have my kids do a brand new assignment. I'm going to go to this Assignments tab right here and click on Assignments. Now what I have now is, well, really nothing. I don't have any assignments in here. It's a brand new course. It's fresh. Um, I do have an assignments group, however, and this is the group um, of things that are going to be under the assignments group. Now, I don't just want one group. I want a couple more. I want a group called assessments for tests and uh, checking for mastery over a subject. I want a group called participation for daily ta uh, daily tasks that they do in the class. I want to give them grades for that. So assignments, assessments, and participation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on um, this button right here that says plus group, and it'll allow me to add a new group. I'm going to call this new group assessments. And oh, wait a second. I cannot wait my group yet. It's given me this little option. And I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. So I'll click Save. And I'll add another one called Participation. And <laughs> Participation. And Save. So now I have my three groups that I want. But I also want to be able to weight them properly. Because I don't want my participation to be equal to my assessments and assignments. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go up here to the settings icon, and there is one option, and it's the one option that I need, which is fancy. Um, weight final grade based on assignment groups. So I'll click on that, and it's going to give me this menu, okay? And it's going to ask me how much I want to weight each group. And so assignments all have 40, assessments will be 50%, and participation will be 10 which means that I have a total of 100%. Computer's really smart. It's a math magician. It can do that for me. So I click Save. And now my groups are weighted properly. Sweetness. So what I'm going to do is I want to add a new group or a new assignment to the assignments group. So I'm going to click this button. It says Add Assignment to Assignments. Click that. And it's going to ask me which type it is. Is it an assignment, a discussion, a quiz, an external tool, or is it not graded at all? I'm going to click Assignment because I actually want to grade it. And I'm going to call this Filter Fun because we're going to learn about Photoshop filters here. And I'm going to give it a due date and I'll just say it's due, you know, it's due today. You know, not a lot of time to get this assignment done. And I'm going to give it a point value of 20 points. Okay, now that's not a lot of options. This is basically just creating the bare bones of my assignment. I want to actually add content to the assignment though. I need to give them instructions, I need to give them videos to watch, um, directions and all that. So I'm going to click this More Options button, which is going to take me to the new assignment menu. Filter Fun, blah 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 blah. All the settings that I've made it keeps those uh, settings as well. But this will allow me to change content. Now, the first thing I want them to do is first watch the tutorial. Watch the tutorial video and make changes to the supplied dot uh, PSD file. Then upload your new uh, dot JPEG to this assignment for credit. Okay, so those are the instructions, but where's the video? Where's the PSD file? Where are the things that I'm trying to give them to be able to complete this assignment? Well, we have to embed them. So I'm going to go to uh, Files here, and I have my course files, which has a couple pictures that I've in, uh, input as well. But what I want to do is upload a new file. And I'm going to choose a video file. So I'm going to go to my Canvas Classes, my Digital Media, 
and I have my lesson one here and these are information this is information about the uh, the lesson that I'm teaching I'm gonna click on this filter fun video tutorial and click open and it's just a video tutorial that I've created for this particular lesson and then I will click upload and it's going to take its time videos usually take a little bit to upload especially if they're a little bit longer um, but while it's doing that I'll show you some of the options down here so again we can change the assignment group we can change oh and there's the tutorial it's embedded good times we can change the assignment group we can display our grade um, differently we can do points percentage complete or incomplete letter grade GPA scale not graded what have you and that's all based on um, what we choose to do as a school and uh, how you choose to modify that as a teacher um, we have submission type you can submit it online there's no submission you can do on paper so if this is a paper worksheet you're handing out in class you can create the assignment put a link to the uh, Word document that they can download and do at home um, and then just say it's on paper then you enter in the grades manually um, you can do an external tool what have you I'm gonna do online submission and I'm gonna click file upload so that I can um, so that they can upload the file um, whenever they're done because up in my description I said upload your new JPEG to this assignment for credit so I want to do a file upload and I want to restrict the file types to dot JPG uh, so that they can upload their new um, JPEG and dot JPG or dot JPEG or dot PSD if they just upload the PSD file or dot um, BMP, uh, BMP for bitmap or dot um, yeah that should be about that should be about right so there's just file types that I will accept for this assignment you can make it a group assignment you can require peer reviews on this assignment so other people in class have to look at it and rate it um, of uh, as well um, you can assign it to everyone in your class or specific groups you can change your due date you can also make it available uh, from uh, a range of of time so that for example if I don't want them to be able to see this assignment or be able to complete this assignment until a specific range of time I can ed, uh, enter that in but I don't uh, want to mess with that now uh, so my video is ready to go it is uploaded so uh, I'll put a little tag up here and just says uh, video so they know that that's the video and then I can go um, uh, Photoshop file and then I can upload my PSD file uh, so I will go up here upload new file choose file and my tiger.psd open and upload and it's going to pop that into there as well so now I'm done with this assignment I can click save and publish oh cannot be after the term end <laughs> I'm gonna delete the due date because that's gonna have problems because we don't have any term ends uh, anyway so I'm gonna just leave the due date open so complete this feel free to complete this assignment whenever you want don't have to worry about turning it in on time save and publish and here's my assignment now you've noticed you'll notice that the uh, the video is embedded into the assignment I can click on it and it will play the video inside of my uh, this is the um, first window. Photoshop and I can stop that and because um, that's gonna look really weird and I have player controls down here I can close caption I can full screen the uh, the assignment here or the video so I can watch it full screen um, that kind of thing I have my tiger.psd file which when I click it I'm gonna be able to download and then I can open that up in Photoshop and follow along with the tutorial and then when I'm done if I'm looking at this in speed or in not speed grader if I'm looking at, at this in um, student view there will be a submit button and I'll be able to upload my file so anyway but that's how you create an assignment um, it's there it's published so now when I go to my assignment hey I have my filter fun assignment here now if I had a um, if I had a due date, it would be here as well, so I'd be able to see when it was due. But anyway, that's how to create an assignment. Hopefully you use this so you can um, kind of uh, uh, keep your stuff more organized. Um, and uh, it's a great tool to use. Uh, 
and uh, hopefully you like this, this uh, video. Thank you very much.